Mariah Carey, the popular singer, managed to send Meghan Markle into a frenzied meltdown, which is absolutely hilarious. Let's get into this entire dramatic situation that uh, basically blew up between these two women. Mariah Carey calls Meghan Markle out for diva moments on Meghan Markle's podcast, which is hilarious because Meghan Markle, she started this new podcast recently called Archetypes, where basically it's a, it's basically a feminist podcast where... Women can come on and complain about how they are victims of of this, of patriarchal society and all these different things. Carrie is certainly well known for embracing the label diva. She told The Guardian in 2020, Who the F cares? Honestly, OMG, they're calling me a diva. I think I'm going to cry. You think of the grand scheme of things in my life that really matters to me being called a diva? I am. That's right. And when Markle suggested that she didn't really connect with the diva type. <laughs> just, just such a laughable statement. Carrie abruptly calls her out. So here's the clip here. Let's go ahead and listen to it here. And I think that's really important for people to remember that there might be this persona. And yes, the diva mm -hmm. thing we can play into. You. I, I mean, it's not something that I connect to. But if for you, it's been... <laughs> Oh my gosh, the diva stereotype is nothing that Meghan Markle can connect to. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're like the definition of a freaking diva. Oh my gosh. Huge part of us. Okay, and then, uh, like I said, Mariah Carey absolutely calls her out here. So, uh, listen to this right here. And yes, the diva mm -hmm. thing we can play into, you, I, I mean, it's not something that I connect to but if for you it's been a huge you part give of us your diva moments sometimes I Megan what kind don't of diva even moments act do like, I give you <laughs> don't act you like you it's, right it's, it's also the visual it's the visual a lot oh, of it's the, the visual because see let's that's the thing you didn't I associate the... it differently well I, I know but let's pretend that you didn't weren't so beautiful and didn't have the whole thing and didn't often have gorgeous ensembles you wouldn't ha get maybe get as much diva stuff. I I don't care. I'm like when I can, I'm gonna give you diva. But the thing is, you're like we we started out at Dream Lover with, with the curly hair, yeah. the, the the plaid shirt, the thing. That was what they wanted for me. They so anyway, so as you can see, um, Meghan Markle got really defensive when Mariah Carey called her out for being a diva here, but it gets even more hilarious because after the show, that's when the drama really started to take off between these two women. So, um... Carrie appeared to pick up on Markle's discomfort and said that she had been referring more to the actress's visual rep uh, pre presentation than any personality traits or behavior, which Markle is absolutely just like through and through. Like if someone was like, okay, who do you, who do you picture as diva when you hear the word diva? It would be Meghan Markle. She must have felt my nervous laughter, Markle said of the exchange once the interview was over. She jumped right in to make sure I was crystal clear that when she said diva, she was talking about the way I dress, the posture, the clothing. She meant diva as a compliment, but I heard it as a dig. Of course you did, Megan. Of course you did, because that's what you hear everything. You hear everything that people say as some sort of negative connotation, which is just hilarious because that's literally just you being a freaking diva there, as you always are, Megan, because that is who you are. You are a diva. You are literally a diva. So this is hilarious because, as you can see, this is starting to turn into a dramatic situation between two women, you know? And that's that's the funny thing about this. That That's what, I mean, you know... This is just so, it's so silly. It's so silly what's happening here. And the fact that Markle, Markle is hearing it as some sort of dig is just like, that. that is, that about sums it up. Noting that she had felt like she was being accused of something and that the thought had made her extremely uncomfortable. That moment, as she explained to me, she meant it as chicken. As inspirational, it was all going swimmingly really well until that moment happened, she recalled. It stopped me in my tracks. Meghan Markle is such a victim, everyone. This is so hard. It's so clear that Mariah Carey is just an agent of the patriarchy trying to destroy Meghan Markle. My mind was just genuinely spinning on what nonsense she might have read or clicked on to make her say that. <laughs> like, literally, any picture that, that is... Uh, uh, of you on the internet. I just kept thinking in that moment, is my girl crush coming to a quick demise? Does she actually not see me? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my gosh. Markle explained her girl crush earlier in the podcast, saying that she had seen Carrie as a role model growing up biracial. Oh gosh, someone looks like me. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my gosh. So as you can see, the Archetypes podcast is going very, very well for Meghan Markle. This is all hilarious, and I can't wait to see what continues to happen with this entire thing. And uh, the more, I think, I think we're going to get a lot of drama from this podcast, and I am all for it. And I can't wait to make more videos about the disaster of Meghan Markle. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.